captain. Oh, flashing outside edge is going to have a bit of fortune for Sahail. He's underway with a boundary. Not convincing, but he'll take that, won't he? No slip in place. Hardly will you see a slip, especially for a spin-up. Oh, open. More on purpose this time. Beautiful with the uh, wrists and the open blade from Sahail. Two in a row. Two done, 13 for one. Scary breeze. And he gets it high enough. And there is protection, so not a bad effort. We've had three overs here, and the Columbus are 21 for one. Makes it a unique subcontinent flavour. I love it. Think about Lusty Malinga, so no surprises with this action. Seeing people. Indeed, and uh, I'm glad you mentioned Daniel because the two of you stood out yesterday. As a bowler, what do you personally like about his form? Well, he got, honestly, he got good brain. You know, in, in T10 cricket, he, you've got to be ready that some, sometime, someday you will go for runs. So you don't let your head down, you know, if you go one or two boundaries, you still eager to come back yeah. you will get hit yep i mean it's it's, it's about being um, confident being being mentally confident i mean as i said i mean you will go for runs t10 cricket is is about scoring you know batsmen go they hit you out i mean edges goes for the boundaries so you don't get scared right that's that's the main idea don't get scared of being hit well all Simple. i can say is that the calendars are long over this So on the button with his timing, the point of release. Patirana, that action. When you have that floating power play, you bring on your best bowler. The problem for Mujib is every over that he's really bowled in this T10, it's been the power play or the floating power play. Only two fielders out and another boundary. Yeah, and I also think majority of it from that far end with the breeze. He's bowled with the breeze. So, batsman will have to hit. Yeah, and he's too short. And he hasn't got away with that either. Back-to-back -back boundaries in the fifth here. Kalunders. Well, I don't know if this is the right tactics, and it's because of the end as well. Because from a batting perspective, they're hitting with the breeze. And we've seen already throughout this competition that Fast bowlers have been more effective than the spinners. So you can sometimes shut down. Yeah, he's such a flight bowler too, isn't he? The deception of pace and through the air, and that dip. And of course, it's very different with quite a uh, brisk breeze in today. Circle as well. Might have a wicket first ball. No, it's downwind. It's downwind. It's too long. I don't think he got that all that well, Sahail. And he'll pick up six. Not easy. I oh, just talked about that breeze. If you're going to hit down the ground, Whoa. hit this direction. Nah, just twisted in his hands a little bit, but I think he got enough. Once it's up in the air, like a golf shot, just carries on going. out towards Fletcher, just the one. And a good Yorker. Again, a good response. Six first ball. And pulled it back quite nicely. Seven gone, 73 for two. Oh, lovely, lovely start, Case Armoured. Whether he saw him coming or not, but uh, beautifully bowled. Starting to look a bit thin on the ground. Once again, chance at the bowler's end. No, that's stuck in his hand. Oh, it's been a cracking over so far. Case puts a Again, beautiful bowled. Just the single. Can he finish the over off? It's over, sorry. 
It's that quicker one. And another single. Great stuff this from Case Armored. Quick, isn't he, when he does this? Still just the one. Don't worry about charging in. Just keep those singles coming. This is...